when, since we announced this route initially, there have been over 160 routing changes. Now, those routing changes have been specific to individual landowners and reviews that we have made. They have not been routing adjustments that would change the route from a view of 1,000 foot, but they've been changed on the ground. The individual landowners know about those, those routes. The counties know about those routes. So the information is out there. We haven't provided that information to the city of Austin because they have no jurisdictional responsibility of this project. The jurisdictions that do, the counties, they absolutely do. The cities, Kyle does. Um, the regulatory agencies, the state does. The feds do. Uh, they have it. So the information is out there, and again, this is a perfect example of had the city of Austin staff taken the time to contact us about this rather than reading things on opposition websites, we could have provided them additional information. They chose not to do that. Especially with the this action by the city of Austin and the, the lawsuits that are going on related to the pipeline, why not just make your environmental analysis of the route and the exact map of the pipeline publicly available, say, on the website? Well, our first obligation are to the agencies that review this project. And we're providing the information to them. We have to secure our permits. We have to go through regulatory processes. Not what others want to see, but what the regulatory agencies ask us for. We're going to get through that process, and we're in that process right now. So we're, again, Beyond us following the regulations and the rules that are out there uh, as far as exactly what is public and what is not, we're, we're following those rules. And we have to get through the permitting process for it. But I also said if the agencies uh, want to release parts of those uh, permits once they are secured, um, that, that's within their purview to do that. They're the, they're the agencies that make the de ultimate decisions on what we can and can't do. Up until the point where they grant those permits, we're still in a review process, and that's where we are uh, right now. Um, but I, I also think to suggest that providing information to opposition groups, and the city of Austin, too, has opposed the project, clearly unanimously opposed the project, is going to make a difference in what those folks think about our project, I think is being pretty naive.